Uh, my name is Nick Knudsen. I go to Greensboro College. Uh, I'm a pitcher. I am a class of 2024, but I'm a freshman still on the field because first year did not count. And uh, this is a day in my life. So I got into baseball in the fourth grade. I think I was nine years old, somewhere around that. Um, and I got into baseball, um, kind of a weird story. So I had a lot of friends in my classes that played baseball and I didn't. Um, and I wanted something in common with them because they'd always talk about the games like during class and stuff like that. And I was like jealous because I wanted to be able to have that conversation with them. So I talked to my dad, I was like, hey, I want to play baseball. Before then I was playing soccer and uh, that was my main sport, you know, eight years old. I, I don't know how serious it was, but that was my main sport. Um, and then, so when they would talk about it, I was like, hey, I wanna play baseball. And I started playing and the rest is history. So the first J-band stretch I'm gonna do is do this right here. I'm gonna do this in sets of 10. Everything sets of 10 for me, just keeping it simple. Um, and what this is activating right now is activating my core. And that's what I like to start out with when I do J bands. It's just something that activates your core. Just because when you're pitching, you're using your whole body. So the first thing to get activated is your core is usually a really good thing to do. Um, so once I do that, there's a few different stretches you can do for that, but that's just, that's my favorite right there. And then I can get this stretch going. Now this one is going to activate your lats, which is this muscle right back here. That's everything. It's part of your throwing motion right there. And it also is going to activate back here, just your back in general. It's a good stretch to start out with. When you're throwing, you're really going to use, like I said, your whole body. So it's important to activate every muscle that you have. Oh, once I do that, put it right there Do the classic, this motion right here. Get a little external rotation going. Switch the internal rotation. Now when I do my J bands, what I like to do is start here, go as hard as I can down, and then control the up. And I do that for every rep making every single rep count. You're not just doing it lazily. Every single one means something. Now both of those that I just did are great for your shoulder and just your arm in general. And those are staples of every J-band routine that you run by. Next one I do is a straight arm across. This one also activating your shoulder, but also you're getting your internal pec a little bit which a lot of people don't realize that when you throw, like I said, you're using your whole body and I mean your entire body. So every single muscle needs to be activated before you start throwing. Last one I'm gonna do, elbows at 90 degrees. Just pull down. And that right there is pretty much my J-band routine. Um, other people are gonna do different things. Um, there's plenty of different routines that you can do out there. Not saying mine's the best, mine's the best by any means, but it's what seems to work for me, so that's what I go with. All 
Um, so out of high school, I was not very heavily recruited. I didn't have a lot of college coaches knocking on my door. Um, and especially with COVID, things got really hard to get recruited. So Greensboro College was actually the only school that uh, contacted me at all. But the, when they contacted me, I was over the moon, excited. Um, I went on my visit, loved the coaching staff. And like, honestly, I don't know, had I been recruited somewhere else, had, I don't think I would have gone there. I loved Greensboro and um, I'm really happy with the decision that I was able to make. And the big thing to remember for me was it's four more years plus of getting to play the game I love. So couldn't be, couldn't ask for a better outcome. Did that go through? That went through. How? <laughs> That's impressive. I literally had to throw it. Look, it doesn't even fit through. I don't even know how that went through. That one, oh, that one almost did. We almost went two for two. stretch it out, but not like long toss, long toss. My biggest strength I feel like is definitely my work ethic. Um, I feel like I take pride in being one of the hardest workers, if not the hardest worker in the room at all times, no matter who's around me. Um, I'm trying to work out every single day, trying to do something every single day to the point where I maybe overexert myself. But work ethic is definitely my strongest thing. I feel like I'm able to make strides in every part of the game just by you know working harder than everyone else. And I think that's the most important thing. Uh, weakness, I, I think I just need to be a better pitcher. Uh, for me, I'm pretty inexperienced with pitching. I pitched a little in high school, but I, I would consider myself more of a thrower. So for me, I think the biggest weakness is just trying to get better to understand the position, um, understand execution, understand how to you know throw pitches in certain spots, and then obviously the normal stuff of I would love my fastball to be thrown harder and my breaking pitches to be nastier. So I think there's always a chance to get better at everything, um, but I think experience is the big thing that I need to work on. Uh, my top three favorite players, uh, number one is Clayton Kershaw. Uh, I'm a Dodgers fan um, and he's my favorite pitcher, has always been my favorite pitcher, just the way he is just so dominant, able to command the strike zone, throws all of his pitches so well, it, it's so awesome to watch. Um, another one of my favorite players is Vlad Guerrero Jr. I think he's super exciting, hits the ball really hard. Even though I'm a pitcher, you gotta, you gotta respect him hitting 500 foot home runs and the way he swings is just so violent and he's just such a cool dude. And then uh, number three would probably be uh, Corey Seager, shortstop for the Dodgers. Um, he's my favorite. Before I started pitching, he was my, who I modeled myself after, wore number five, all that stuff. And I just thought he was so cool, so smooth that everything, his swing was so beautiful. And uh, he's probably my favorite position player out of anybody. few things I would say. One is uh, don't think too much of yourself. Um, there's always somebody who's going to be better than you, somebody working harder than you. So just 
always have the mentality of you got to get better. You got to. There's always something you can improve. Um, another thing is don't get discouraged. Just because colleges aren't knocking on your door right now, whatever year you're in right now, doesn't mean they won't at some point. You just got to keep working hard, keep grinding, and eventually somebody's going to notice. Um, an important thing that somebody told me one time was if you're not getting scouted real heavily, if you can play, they will find you. And that is 100% true. You just got to keep grinding, keep playing, keep loving the game, and eventually things will fall your way, I promise. So today we came out here, uh, got a little bit of stretching done to start out with, got the J-bands in, plyo balls, um, then went into some long toss, got the arm good and stretched out, went through me a 30, 35 pitch pin, felt really good and that's a day of my life. Yeah. 